Hi there friends, Vanna here. Thanks for joining me for another one of my knife reviews. Today on the chatting block we've got Bestec knives. Uh, and we got uh, one of their uh, more budget friendly offerings. This is the Paladin. Um, yeah, a great knife uh, for, 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 for the price that you're paying. Um, it's a hard-working knife. Um, it's been in my rotation uh, for a while. Um, it's gone some uh, deep bundu bashing with me. Um, it's picked up some scars, as you can see. But, uh, yeah, thus far loving it. Um, this is really a knife that, uh, that I feel you can throw pretty much anything at. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to dive down. We're going to um, first do a quick size comparison. Uh, then I'm going to throw some specifications at you. Uh, then we're going to take a closer look uh, from tip to butt uh, what makes this uh, knife so special. So yeah, let's jump into the uh, size comparisons. Um, we got the uh, Spyderco Paramilitary 2 and we can see that it's got an almost exact same footprint um, as the Paladin here. Um, also something that everyone's carrying, uh, this is the Delica 4, and we can see that it's quite a bit shorter, uh, which would put the uh, Paladin, for me personally, because it's so similar to the uh, PM2, it'll make it a full-size large knife. So Kaiser offering the Matanzas, and we can see the Matanzas just uh, slightly shorter um, than the Paladin. Some specifications, we've got an overall length of 8.375 inches, uh, we've got a blade length of 3.625 inches. Uh, we do have a blade thickness of 0 0.13. Uh, quite chunky, but uh, let's compare that quickly to the uh, paramilitary 2. Um, and we can see that uh, yeah, it's about it's about the same uh, yeah, when you get to this spot over here um, as a paramilitary 2. So not too thick, not too thin. Uh, we've got a total overall weight of 4.52 ounces. Uh, this guy, having a look here on Blade HQ, it's uh, selling for $52. Um, and uh, MSRP, which no one pays, at $65. Bucks. So, let's do this. Let's dive down. Let's, let's, let's pull this guy apart. Let's see. First of all, start off with the blade. D2 steel. D2 steel um, is often talked about in the same uh, um, breath as CPMS 30V, uh, which is uh, the paramilitary 2, st the, the, the standard edition. Um, it's got very high chromium content, um, not as high as the CPMS 30V. So the CPMS 30V has got uh, uh, slightly um, uh, harder, it's more durable. Uh, than the D2 and it's also more costly because of the high chromium content. Um, high chromium uh, would, would make it a, um, a, a, a semi uh, a rust resistant blade um, and fairly uh, difficult to sharpen but uh, once it takes that edge it, it holds it for a long time. So that's as far as blade steel is concerned. Um, so this is a simple blade style, flat going into a uh, quite a generous belly. And we've got a slight trailing point happening. Um, it's it's almost deceiving to the eye, but um, it is definitely there. Let's get a flat surface so we can see. So you can see there that uh, it's a very 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 slight trailing point. Um, at the back we've got uh, we've got some nice swedging, um, and there's a black accented area stone washed uh, for some nice contrast. Uh, on the spine of the blade, we've got some jimping, um, fairly aggressive, not overly aggressive, definitely gives you a very, very nice purchase um, and grip, uh, so yeah, I really like that, that, that jimping, a slight uh, a thumb drop, but um, very, very comfortable in the hand, um, as opposed to a, uh, a thumb rise. Um, going through to the back, we can see that it's an open back construction. Uh, we do have a, a, a G10 backspacer uh, as well as a G10 on the scales, but I'm jumping ahead. Let's quickly go to the pivot. So that we can see the pivot, we've got a proprietary free spinning. 
uh, Best Tech uh, presentation side pivot. And uh, on the reverse, we've got the, uh, the Torx pivot, which we'll use to disassemble this guy. Um, inside, we've got uh, uh, ceramic ball bearings. Beautiful smooth action. Uh, comes out of the detent like a monster. Uh, we do also have a, a ceramic detent uh, ball. Uh, we can see that it is a liner lock. It's got two stainless steel liners. It's been recessed into the uh, into the G10 scales, and we can see that they have been slightly uh, uh, skeletonized to remove weight and improve rigidity of the handle. Uh, lock up at the moment. Uh, it's sitting. Uh, it's on about 50%. So that's about as good as you want it to be. Um, let's look at blade centering. We can see that it is spot on. Let's talk about the action. Flipper tab. Not too big, not too small. Um, I have not slipped on this guy yet. Um, there is a little bit of jumping on the front. Um, they could have maybe put a line or two in the top as well, but um, that's just nitpicking. And uh, let's take a look at, uh, at how she comes out of that detent. Strong, proud, absolutely nothing wrong with that. Cannot fail this guy. Absolutely beautiful action. Smooth on those uh, ceramic ball bearings. Uh, let's see how she uh, falls. Uh, with a little bit of help and coaxing, uh, you can uh, you can shake it back into the detent. Um, let's loosen up the detent. We can see it's a little bit of a free dropper. Once we get it past that detent ball, uh, we can shake it closed. All right, beautiful action. I do love it. Let's talk about the scales. Uh, we've got G10. Um, and uh, it's got a very nice wood grain effect to it. Um, I believe that is um, the way that they pack the um, the the G10. Um, it's it's uh, it's 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 not not as many uh, per square uh, inch, um, or it's not as tight as perhaps um, uh, what we use for their G10. Um, their G10 is is extremely hard. Uh, you can really do some great milling work on it. You can facet that G10 um, when it's when it's uh, yeah, when it's very compact. Uh, so this guy does have a little bit of give um, as opposed to the um, the the G10 on like like I said the Wii knives. Um, but yeah, I do love this uh, this pattern uh, that it, that that's, that that their milling work has created. Uh, we've got a little bit of a design flair happening over here, uh, which I do appreciate. Uh, we've got a a cutout for your front finger and a cutout over here as well. Uh, for your back three fingers. This guy is extremely comfortable in the hand. Um, looking at it, at, at it from the top, we can see that the lock bar has been elevated and there's some jumping on it for some for very easy pass through of your thumb and uh, disengaging of that, uh, of that liner lock. Uh, we do have two body str uh, screws and we've got a hole for a, a lanyard. Uh, on the back, very very straightforward and simple pressed and bent uh, pocket clip um, this guy isn't a real deep carry so uh, about that much will, will be sticking out of your pocket uh, it's deep enough but uh, yeah not really a, 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 a deep carry pocket clip um, yeah like I said earlier we've got a, a backspacer uh, flush uh, to the to the actual scales some very good fit and finish over there um, chamfering, uh, there's there's no real sharp edges. Uh, it hasn't been chamfered over here at all, but it's uh, it's still smooth and rounded. Uh, it's well with a slight rounded. Um, no chamfering over here either, uh, but really that's not a problem. So let's talk about ergonomics. <clears throat> very 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 comfortable and strong grip, especially with that uh, uh, jumping over here on the on the on the on the spine of the blade. Um, and this guy we can use yeah, for, for so many cuts. We got a draw cut, extremely comfortable, no hot spots, push, uh, reverse grip, uh, very, very comfortable. Um, this area over here with the sharpening choil, a very aggressive sharpening choil, 
Um, and they did go and they chamfered off uh, the edges of the flipper tab, which makes me think that um, they maybe thought of that um, to be a, a front front f uh, choke up finger choil. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, my finger just barely fits in there um, and touches the edge of the sharpening choil. So that's definitely not meant for that unless you've got very small fingers. But uh, I kind of wish that um, that they could, that they could have opened it up a little bit. Uh, so you could have uh, accessed that and used it as a front uh, finger choil to choke up on the blade. Um, other grips, uh, we've got a pincher grip, uh, very comfortable. You can really choke up on the blade uh, uh, from the back. You can really get, we can really get close. Guys, this, this knife overall, um, yeah, I just, I love the rigidity of it. It's, uh, it's strong, it's hardy. Uh, it feels like you can really throw anything at this knife um, and it'll really stand the test. Um, so yes, guys, that is pretty much it. Thanks for joining me. Um, if you would like to see more, please hit subscribe. Hit that bell if you want to get instant notification. If I upload a new video, press like, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. But uh, yeah, get this guy. If you want a real bushcrafty, take it anywhere, cut anything with a color blade. Cheers, guys. Thanks so much.